Um, it's actually not really fantastic for children to have to go through this phase of sort of mom and dad fighting really contentiously in court. So it's actually, I think, better for everyone if we can get these things resolved in another way. And obviously that won't be the case for 100% of matters. But the more matters we do that way, you know, the better it is for families, children, all Albertans, the system overall. So. Um, I am excited to look into that and to move forward with it. I mean, certainly there's some complex issues, but there are a number of options, right? So there are certainly there are certainly mediation options, and that can go sort of um, in front of a judge or without a judge. Um, there are um, sort of adjudication forums that aren't the full the full out uh, court, and then there's sort of negotiation as between the parties as well. I mean, obviously the courts themselves don't have that much um, impact there, but a lot of it too can be. Um, access to information, right? Because when you talk about something like child support, there are actually fairly clear guidelines in the legislation in terms of what you're going to pay. So um, the hope is, is that, you know, that's sort of based on your income and maybe that can be an area where we don't have to have so much dispute. Um, and in a lot of cases, if you can get the parties, uh, if you can get the parties to sit down in a room, and I don't want to sort of speak to all cases, obviously, um, but sometimes you can come to some areas of common interest because really like if if you're talking about the really contentious matters which often have to do with child custody um, both parties have an interest in in the best interests of the children um, all parties have that interest so hopefully through the process of mediation or adjudication you can kind of get there in a way um, that's less formalized and that's that's less contentious, that doesn't sort of create bad blood going forward that's just going to create more problems. I appreciate the position of the bar in terms of due process and I actually think that what we have in Canada and in Alberta is it's a fantastic system. It's a system that's designed to um, to both respect the rights of the accused person and to do its best to respect the rights of the victims as well going forward. Um, and we have a very fulsome adjudication process and I think that that is important. But currently that system is perhaps collapsing under its weight is too far to say about it. But I mean, we're getting to that point, right? Um, we're sort of seeing a situation where um, because there's so much systemic backlog, uh, people's rights are being violated. Both the rights of the accused for having to wait far too long for a resolution to the accusations and the rights of the victims who are sometimes having, not getting to have a full resolution of their complaints because of the delay. So I think that we absolutely need to do something about that. And there are different things we can do about it. So the system is under-resourced, and one of the ways that you can uh, create greater resources in the system is to, to add money, essentially, to add prosecutors, to add judges, to add infrastructure, because in a lot of these locations, we're at our infrastructure limit. But that is, that is extremely expensive. And before I go spending hundreds and millions of dollars of other people's money, I think that I have an obligation to look at all of the options. Um, and this is one of the options. Um, I think the reasons, so the first thing that's important to note is that the reasons that due process is important when it comes to the criminal system are that um, that person is potentially uh, facing a jeopardy to their liberty interests, right? So people who are in the criminal system might go to jail. Um, and that person is also potentially facing a criminal record. And a criminal record, I mean, quite aside from the liberty interest, has other impacts. So, um, you know, criminal record checks are common when you get a job, so that can impact people's interests going forward. Traffic tickets don't necessarily engage those interests. So there are some severe traffic matters, um, and those will engage those interests. But something like, you know, you're getting a $100 ticket for driving too fast, well, it's not gonna go on your criminal record and you're not gonna go to jail. So, so maybe that fulsome process isn't necessary in those cases.